What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Zeal. Um, I just wanted to come on here quickly and talk about Psalms 103. And I'll get into the other um, chapter that I want to talk about today, too. But I was reading this earlier today, and it really blessed me because when we're in a state of worship, like, that's all God wants us to do is He wants us to worship Him in spirit and in truth. And worship is a mindset and a lifestyle and a heart posture. And it comes from a, a depth in our soul that we don't even fully understand. And so I wanted to read um, Psalms 103, starting at verse 1. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I'm going to stop right there because so many things come to my mind when I just read those. But bless the Lord. We bless you, God. Oh, my soul. We're speaking to our soul. He says, seek out your soul salvation with fear and trembling. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. He said we are to love him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. So bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Right now, as we speak, and when we go to bed, and before we get out of that groggy state when we wake up every morning, never ending in the heavens, the angels are crying out, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Day and night, they never cease praising his holy name. He is perfect and righteous. And that's in Revelations chapter 4, verses 8. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, verse 2 in Psalms 103, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hallelujah. Who forgives all our iniquities, who heals all of our diseases, who redeems our life from destruction, and who crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. That's our God. He's full of promises and full of love. And the part that we have to take on in order to tap into these promises and in order to benefit from these things is one, yes, give our lives to him, have faith, claim, him, claim God as our God, claim Jesus as our savior. There's no other God, no other savior that we want to put our trust in, right? So making a separation and a distinction between who we will serve this day, right? For he says in verse 17 of Psalms 103, But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, who really believe in him, who really take his word as truth and his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. We bless you, God. And we get your benefits if we follow you, God. So, Lord, we bless you, all oh, our souls and all that is within us. Bless your holy name. And we benefit as we fear you, as we trust you, as we keep you as our God. I hope this um, just blesses somebody today to just cry out to the Lord and bless him. Even, even in your struggles right now, bless the Lord from your soul. And all that is within you, bless his holy name. He never changes. He never ceases to amaze us. He is faithful. And you can trust as you bless him and as you worship him and as you fear him and follow his commandments. He will follow through with many benefits, with many mercies, with many blessings. He has the whole world in his hands. God bless you. And I hope you go out there and release the zeal God has for you today. I love you so much. Bye.